We're talking Big East women's basketball with the head coach of the reigning Big East champions. Carolyn Keeger is with me now. And coach, thanks so much for your time. How was your summer? Summer was great. You know, our team really worked hard. I think we grew up and uh, we welcomed the three new newcomers to the team, two freshmen and one transfer. So very pleased with where the team's at and excited for this upcoming season. And it's really something if you look at the timeline for your group because you had Alisea Blocked and Natisha Heidemann come in as freshmen. You said there were growing pains. Last year even at times there were some of those, but you emerged as a champion. How much have you watched this group progress both on and off the court? I've never seen a group grow so fast. And I give my staff a lot of credit. I give my players uh, you know, they deserve so much credit for what's happened over the last three years. And, you know, winning the Big East Championship was great. Getting the NCAA tournament w was amazing. But I think the thing that I'm most proud of is our maturity and where we've come in the last three years. And, you know, t to watch this group grow up, to watch them come together as a team and watch their chemistry just come together has been the most rewarding thing for me. Can you reflect back to that moment that, Great Tuesday night, the win over DePaul to take the program's first Big East championship. I think even before the game started, I looked up in the crowd and I, I saw a packed house. And for me, that's what I want our players to feel every night. And that was such a big moment for me as an alum. And when the horn buzzed and I looked around and I saw the crowd and I saw our team um, and our staff embraced, it was a moment I'll never forget. And it was one that... You know, I want to remember, but I also want to chase. And I, I want to feel that feeling again, and I want our program to feel that. And, you know, I know it was a lot of hard work to get there, but I think that was just the start of something, and I look forward to chasing that again. You go to the NCAA tournament, you tasted that. I know it wasn't the result you wanted. But how much, in a way, is that motivation for your ladies? They saw what it took in the NCAA tournament to be able to get a result. Yeah, you know, it was definitely not the result we wanted. And the feeling in the locker room was one that I want them to remember. I want them to remember what it felt to win the Big East Championship, and I want them to remember what it felt like to lose in that first round game because you're right, that's motivation. And I've never seen our group this hungry. I've never seen them work as hard as they did all summer um, in, in our fall workouts right now, in our summer workouts, and they're hungry. They're, I, I don't even want to use the word embarrassed, but there's a chip on their shoulder. And, you know, last year we, we were the underdog, I think, for most of the season. And in the NCAA tournament, we got the five seed and, you know, we, we had the upper hand and we didn't know how to play with that yet. So I think learning that and now learning, I think we're going to be chased this year again and we need to learn how to play with the target on our back versus, you know, chasing down um, the reigning champ. To me, at least, the top teams in the game are, at the end of the day, the ones who can score. Can you speak to that? Definitely. I mean, we, we want to be up there in the country every year with with points per game. Um, if if you're going to win, you know, you need to point. You need to put points up there. I think our um, Achilles heel, no pun intended, from last year, but has been the defensive end. And I think that's one thing that we're really trying to build on is you know our offensive style and our offensive powerhouse is strong and it's going to continue. However, we know that if we want to get to where we want to get to and, and we want to raise the mark, we got to learn how to defend. And we got to learn how to play 90 feet of pressure, but also learn how to defend our own basket and you know play hard-nosed, tough, man-to-man -to -man defense. How would you assess the state of the Big East in women's hoops? I think it's getting better and better. You know, I, I love the parity. I love, um, you know, that we were able to get the Big East Championship and St. John's was able to go into DePaul's house and win it two years ago. Um, I, I think, obviously, you know, you still have DePaul that it has been there. They've been, you know, the, the staple for a long time. And, you know, Creighton and St. John's and Seton Hall and Georgetown. And I think even, you know, with Providence, that they, they made a big push last year. You know, I think the teams are just going to keep getting better. The coaches are getting better. And I, I, I think in the next, you know, three, four years, you're really going to see our league really propel in the country. All right, let's go off the court a little bit. Your favorite place to eat in Milwaukee? Ooh, Mo Steakhouse. That's a no-brainer. Mo Steakhouse. Who are your role models? Uh, no doubt my parents. You know, I, they're the most unselfish people I've ever met in my life. You know, they raised seven kids, and uh, I owe everything that I could possibly have to them. So, uh, no-brainer. Favorite TV show when you're growing up as a kid that you just love to watch? Or maybe that you even watch now? Ooh, friends. Yeah, that's more of a high schoolish, but I, it's hysterical. I love it. What's on the Carolyn Keeger playlist? <laughs> I am everything. I am country. I am hip hop. I am pop. I, I love it all. Does the team get into some music on the bus ever? And are you kind of? Absolutely. Our, our team has a fantastic personality and they dance, they, they rap, they sing. 
you know, we get into it pretty well. That, that's one thing I love about our group is, is we're a family and we're very diverse, but it works and uh, no one's afraid to be who they are. And we just, we just have fun every day. It, it's really a really great feeling. I know you're a basketball life or player <laughs> coach, but when you're not doing basketball, what, what do you do? Uh, maybe a hidden talent, a hobby for coach Keeger. Hidden hobby. Uh, I love being on the water. So anything that has to do in, in the summer in Milwaukee, I love boating. I love wakeboarding and you know, wake surfing and just, just being on the boat with my friends. The thing I love to do is I love to play cards. So any card game, I'm a card shark, so bring it. <laughs> like it, like it. Maybe a battle of Uno sometime. Let's go. Let's go. Coach, thanks so much, Thank as you. always. Appreciate